Hello, I am the Convolutional Neural Gamer, and this is AI War. I have just discovered that the AI may have something so hilariously overpowered uh, up its sleeve that um, I, there is actually no counter to it. The AI apparently may have an unwit button. Also, it turns out sniper turrets are immune to blades. Who'd have thought? Um, yeah, I, I need to get some scouts out to here so I can confirm or deny the existence of the AI as I win button. Um, I know scouts on this planet. I have, scout, I have a scout here, but it's mine too. Oh, here they are. Here they come. They're coming. So these guys are going to pop open and unleash thousands, thousands of blades at me. Because if so, I am never going to be allowed to have a counter, a, a reprisal wave. But they didn't come through. Yes, you kidding. They didn't come through. How stupid are these guys? Okay, let's um. Apparently, they have no. The AI has no idea what it's got. Hey, bang! Oh, am I on plus five? I am plus five. Also, did this hack fail? No. What? Is there just a chance that a hack will send and in, uh, send like a hunter killer and a bunch of other stuff at you? Because that's so much more powerful than anything else the hack said. I think that might need some tuning if that's really the case. If that was actually just a hack result, not a hard-coded thing for the Nomad Beacon, that is totally imbalanced. Um, on the other hand, I have gotten this, so maybe it was a hack result. Alright, the trick is I have to pop these, um, these carriers. I have to tell them to open up. You don't you don't consider this worth opening up for? Well, that's kind of annoying of you. Um, let's give it more to think about then. If those carriers contain blade in contain pricking blades, they need to they need to they need to open. The blades need to come out. Let them be free. They are blades. Let them all be free. Now they can't come attack me. Good. Problem solved. Um, so yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Well, AI I can apparently do that. Uh, do I have a confirmation that I have succeeded? Like, did, did that give me a message of some kind? Just succeeding in the... No Red Beacon being successfully hacked. Interesting. But there's just no Red Beacon. It's just, we still just got this one. Hack. Capture. Okay. Well, I'm up to capture. So let's, let's capture. I've got to rebuild and I've got to capture. Um, rebuilding shouldn't be too bad. I'll... What should I do? I should... This guy looks like he's gonna... If he's gonna connect to anything, he's gonna connect to my home world. Momentarily. Also, there's uh, 119 AI ships here, which I should just kill with the... Um... Kill with this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to hide from those death machines. Apparently I don't need the warhead, but I guess it's nice to have on the planet. Next time I have a freaking uh, doom ball, I can um, deal with it. Uh, you guys are all going to head over to here. You over here are going to... I thought I saw you go through the wormhole. Apparently you're not there yet. Did, they, did, I, did I turn them off? I didn't turn them off, did I? I can't have them. Ah, uh, no, maybe I did turn them off. They're not dead, so I'm going to more. Oh no, they are here. There's one here. Where are the others? Ah, uh, they don't go in range anyway. All fine. It's all fine. I didn't send everyone. That's what it is. I didn't double click correctly. Send everyone. I want all of you to go over there. Ah, uh, this is the one that usually goes with the engine. Uh, you have just gotten yourself shot at a bunch. Unload and get through the damn wormhole. 71%. Damn, that's a lot of money to have wasted. Oh well. 
could send like three of these guys to repair him. Uh, we'll get over here. Uh, yeah, the wormhole links will shift any time now. And then I can grab this planet and fortify it. Unfortunately, that's going to be a lot of money I would have liked to have spent on that. That's a pity. Once he gets over there, I can just repair with everything. He is here. There they are here. Excellent. Um, let's unload everything. It's fine. I should just build a broader remains rebuilder with me. That's not a very awkward plant station room. Remains. Okay. Actually, I was saying, once this died, I can reposition it slightly. Like, here. Which is probably a slightly better position for it. So yeah, we're gonna go over here. It's gonna make it more expensive to rebuild. Repositioning things like this, but it's probably worth it in the end. We'll take those out. And the rally post will go down here. Anyway, all of you guys can go like that, and you two can chill out in this guy. Um, so you can chill out in this guy. You are just going to head straight back. I think you can make it. Attrition. Maybe attrition. I think you're okay. This is only a death world for a few more moments. Um, yes, yeah, the mime, like, did they, did they actually get a reprisal wave and that caused it? Oh, hello, everything. I wonder which broken golems that is. Because one of them's the broken golems for the uh, regular golem types and one's for the botnet golem. There's the botnet golem they apparently think is more, more OP than the other golems. Um... I don't know if I agree that it's that OP. It's pretty OP. But I don't know. I don't know that they can quite justify it. Like, you know, you've seen the Hive Golem. The Hive Golem's pretty brutal as well. Um, there's definitely a spectrum of Golems. I'd say Hive Golem's right up there among the best. Um, what else? Regen Golem and is okay. Um, Artillery Golem is good and bad. It's amazing in certain circumstances. Uh, but not so good in others. I'm waiting for this wormhole link to change. I want to know where that's going to be. I'm so glad that's a hack correctly. So I want to... I guess i got to sit over this, maybe? Because I'm probably going to have to protect this. I'm a little worried about that. 500k energy to run the artifact. Wow, that's uh, more than I have. Quite a bit. I don't really want it to come online right now, so I don't care. I want the Spire Archives. Give me Spire Archives. Um, you're almost built. Not quite. Takes too long. Go to speed 5. Uh, yeah, I've got to get this new pl this place built too, because this means that I've only got one. I've only got one place open at the moment, which means that the AI is going to build giant waves against me uh, to penalise the one choke point situation. And I don't want the AI to send giant waves against me. Shock! You'll be shocked to hear that. I, I know it's I know it's surprising, but um, giant waves are not my favourite thing. I prefer smaller waves. Interestingly, this was only killed by the carriers, not by the blades. The blades just killed everything. Because um, they're immune. Uh, we need engineers. I don't know how I'm going to get that much energy. I don't. I mean, I guess I can just build a ton of matter collectors if I really want to turn it on. I'm probably just not going to. So that's probably the best way. Maybe I should be focusing on. I don't know. I really want this place back up. It won't take that long. It won't take that long to rebuild. Get this place up, take that, and then think about other places. I want that science. 9,000 knowledge is just... it's amazing. Uh, it may be very hard, like I'll lose the place and then it'll be like impossible to rebuild. No, I won't... I don't know, I might lose... I I'm not, can't let myself lose the place because it's got the freaking beacon. I don't know, that may be a problem. 
could be very hard to defend at units in certain places because I won't be able to get my golems and things over there. It'll need to make I'll need to make sure it has its own supply of warheads of appropriate deadliness. I don't know. Mm, that's a problem. But I really want that. I really want that knowledge. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be fine. Missile frigates to Rockworth. That's here. Okay, good thing I've got all my split fleet here. Oh, my five as well. Uh, who do missile miss frigates counter my uh, counter light, which means they counter the fighters. Let's get you out of here. Um, you guys could also switch your thing. I mean, switching your thing because it takes so much micro. I'll, I'll lock higher tiers with those guys eventually. That's what I really want to do. Uh, then I don't have to switch them around all the time. Because switching them around is too annoying. Oh, well, they are actually done on time. Turns out I had enough money saved. That's good. Well, you guys can all leave. It's time to get on to more important matters. Um, yeah, you're not very good at leaving, I Okay. Oh, all the fighters. Two. Uh, I keep pausing habitually. Um, that's a, what I do when I'm playing, you know, not recording. So I pause all the time. So that I can make sure I think about every decision and do it as well as possible. But I pro probably should try not to do that if at all possible whilst recording because it slows things down and I don't want to slow things down. I want this to be interesting as I've said before. Wow, that's a bit of a starship stack, isn't it? I'd rather that wasn't there. Now we're gonna give we're gonna give this uh, nomad planet a go. Um I don't know, actually, it's a Nomad Beacon, so maybe I can just steer the planet. I might have to turn it on then. If I, if, I, if I need to turn it on to steer, then, um, well, I need to steer, don't I? Uh, give this another save as I dive into the unknown. I need it. Gonna need to make a save just before. Actually, this is just before. Um, AI War Double Doom. Uh, pre Nomad Capture. Just in case it turns out to be a very, very bad decision. This is what happens when you don't know the answer. Look at how far away he's getting from everything. It's like drifting out into the middle of nowhere. I can only hope he connects to my homeworld or something. Just, can, you, can you just bugger off and leave? Just say, nah, I'm not connected to anything now. I'm done. That was it. I'm tired of this stupid galaxy. Terrible galaxy. Is it? Is it really? Because you seem pretty attached to this thing. Um, so i got to predict this and i got to predict this. Uh, this has 2.25 uh, million health. This has 2,000 health. I am going to focus on protecting this up here. Um, you're gonna, you can hang out there. Uh, yeah, this needs to not die. If that dies, I lose the game, so I will obviously reload. There are some things that just cannot be allowed, and losing that is one of them. It is worth too much air progress. So, we'll defend this for now, and later on, we're gonna defend other things. I always forget that the iron cannons are still active right up until I finish my command station. I, I wish they wouldn't just run away from the guys who are trying to escape the iron cannons by hiding them. Okay, this guy's being built. New journal, beacon captured. Well, that's a little preemptive, isn't it? Uh. Okay, congratulations on the successful capture of Nomad 1. We've secured the source of the broadcast. What's left of it? Well, command and control was partially right. The beacon, as we're calling it, is more of a guidance system. Except that the Zenith apparently liked building their guidance systems inside huge golem car ass monstrosities. The practice has a certain charm. Nevertheless, given the size of the objects being guided, I'm not sure what the Zenith were thinking. 
It does have transportation uses, uses, but let's be honest, we've done a thorough scan of Nomad 1 and discovered it isn't so much a planet as an artificial structure wrapped around the biggest warhead in the galaxy. Okay, this is a weapon, a terrible weapon. It may be how we survive this war. On the surface it's simple, repair the beacon, have enough energy available to activate the required beacon, bring the beacon to an AI home command station, defend the beacon long enough for the nearest nomad to get into range. No shield network or other defensive measure could possibly save the target from that. The beacon itself will be destroyed in the process, of course, so we can only do this once. And there are further complications. The AI obviously knows what this thing can do, hence those firewalls we had to disable. If we actually reactivate the device and bring it to a non-nomad planet uh, such that its broadcasters go active, well, the AI response will be enthusiastic to understate it greatly. Right, so it needs to stay on the Nomad planet uh, until I'm ready to use it. But it sounds like I can not use it quite safely, which means that I can have my damn Scopira archive, which I want so, so dearly. Can I get these guys safely over there? Yes, I can. Uh, let's get a bunch of these guys over to Nomad 1. Ah, uh, yeah, looking good, looking good. Okay, trivialities dealt with. I'll put this over like here, maybe. Um. <sighs> I hate engineers. I hate them. They just—they're just bad. They're annoying. I, I uh, Nothing ever goes right with engineers. They just always die under every circumstance. Kill the AI stuff before it attacks the bloody command station. This one! You bloody morons! Attack the one that's about to kill the command station. <sighs> the level of stupidity. Yeah, she's ignoring everything because it's like, well, there's nothing here. I should go and attack here, this planet, clearly. Um, because it's got important stuff and no one here. But, um, that's not quite true, as it turns out. Uh, I need to wait for those iron cannons. Nomad 1 command station is under attack. Oh, it's a stupid eyebot. I hate eyebots. It's so irritating. And a whole bunch more eyebots. How many of these guys do you have? Oh, it's a special bloody forces, is it? Why are special forces being offensive? Oh, thank God, they've connected to my home world. I was really hoping it would do that. It also connected to some other place. Verdobang. Well, Verdobang, do you have a um, horrible death machine on you? Because I don't want you to have a horrible death machine on you. I would appreciate you not having a horrible death machine on you, in fact. Uh, let's go scouting. Well... I suppose it's a horrible death machine. If you, if you count golems, horrible death machines, in which case I would want you to have a horrible death machine. Actually, I probably don't want you to have a horrible death machine because you're a billion miles away from me. Like, how? I have to go, like, all the way down there. It's unreasonable. The hacker. Please light up. This is, uh, relatively, relatively mild, really grand scheme of things. I even got over here. Um. Yeah, let's let's keep scouting. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Got a micro parachute leech, and a, finally an advanced research station. God, how hard that been to find. Though that said, it's in a useless position. Like as I say. I have to go all the way around here to get to it, because this planet doesn't connect. Despite the looks of it. That is not connected. This is really far away. <laughs> it's close based on like nomad planet distance. As the nomad planet flies. Um Okay, we have it. Um put down force fields. Uh bring in engineers. We need to get this place fortified. 
So, it sounds like bringing this online isn't a terrible idea. I wonder how powerful it is when I when it's actually able to shoot. Um, it would be just used to defend this planet, of course, but that may be worth doing. Kill that with a golem. Hmm. Yeah, that seems like a viable option. Where are these engineers? They should be here by now, shouldn't they? Where are they? There they are. Get over here. I need, I need you to build things. Are you not built? I'm surprised at how much energy I'm using. Hmm. It may, I, it, for all I know, it could be a death machine to on par with the frigging Exodian blade. So I should probably find out what happens if I do activate it. Still eight, eighty thousand. Oh, that makes this guy look cheap. Eighty million, sorry, not eighty thousand. Still, I probably should activate it, as I say. Um, should I activate it as priority? I may need it to protect this planet, if it is if it has guns. And they say they encased it in a giant golem death machine, so hopefully it is indeed a giant golem death machine, and can do the key death part of the machine bit. It's got enough health for it, certainly. Um, or it's really got the ability to take out other golems. That would depend. Um, so I'm just going to fortify this point for now. Um, well, I defend the Spire Archives and then I might move on to the Beacon. I do have the option of just not repairing the Beacon, which is a very tempting option because it costs so much energy. At least until I get this. If once I get this, I should have enough spare energy that activating the Nomad won't be such a big deal. Obviously, I like the obvious choice would be to take out the second AI uh, home planet with the Nomad. Um, so I'll take out the first one the hard way, and then the set Nomad can you use to take out the second one because. Um, it seems to say we can only do it once, so... Yeah. Um... Hmm. I presumably have to get it over to the home planet quite quickly. Because, um, it's a beacon, so I don't want it to land on something other than the home planet. A rail cannon and a ton of implosion guard posts. Wow, I don't want to bring a golem anywhere near that. I could just, I could literally just blast this planet. The, this thing's almost full. I should use it for something. No, no, waste not one not, you know all that. Verdo bang. Even if it does mean that I'm going to have, um, even more, uh, mime trolling. Yeah, sure. Let's just kill this planet. Threatening Eye. I don't think the Threatening Eye is going to matter. I think everything that Threatening Eye summons will die. Okay, my focus has kind of got to be defending that, but um, maybe I can just set, leave this guy here for now and uh, start thinking about my next conquest. So 33. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, yeah, this planet's been cleared in no time. No time at all. Which is always nice. So, they got one more of the scouts. I need to scout more. So, basically, the question was, do I want to deal with this now? How much of stuff is here? What's giving me all this threat? There's a... oh, these starships, the damn starships, that's what he's calling out. Maybe I should take these out, those out while I'm here. Flagship. 
I'm feeling the pressure, time pressure, because I'm going to have more CPAs and things coming in. I need to make sure I can, I have as much stuff as possible before the next one comes in. Oh yes, that's the other thing I can think about here, is this, this stuff. Oh, I forgot that, that is another amazing thing. So much good stuff on this planet, it's a very, it's, it's a ridiculous planet, really. Quite, uh, excessive. So I've got adamantine, oh wow. Alright, this video has actually gone quite a bit over time. So for now, uh, I've been the Convolutional Neural Gamer. This has been our Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.